Hello, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to look at, at what sales account is used when processing orders. So in Acumatica, we have a concept called order types. And in each of these order types, there's several preferences that define what sales account is used. So what I did is I created a couple of different ones. Normally we use sales order, but I created two different ones. One of them is where the order is taking the general ledger entry from the inventory item. So you see over here under sales account from, we're pulling the sales account from the inventory item here. And also notice if you're using sub accounts, Acumatica will allow you to combine the sales account from different areas. So the first, this is a two segment sub account. The first segment is product group. So where do we want to pull the sub account on the first segment for product group? Do we want to pull it from the inventory item? The inventory item has its sub account. Do we want to pull it from the employee that's actually creating the order? Uh, the customer's shipping address location, the posting class. There's quite a number of different areas that you could pull from. So the other order type I created was taking the GL entry from the posting class. Okay, so over here, again, we chose the preference posting class as opposed to inventory item. So now let's create a couple of sales orders and follow these through. So we'll go in, we'll create a new sales order. The first example will be using the inventory ID to pull the GL account from. So we'll pick a customer. And we'll pick an item. A box of 100 pencils. And we'll sell one. Okay. Now, if we click on this, just to take a look, there's a couple of things to keep an eye out for. Ordinarily, Acumatica will look at the posting class right here. And it'll decide what where it should pull the GL entry from. So in this case, the sales account is saying, I want you to pull it from the inventory ID. So which is this behind us is the stock item profile for the item. And there's our GL account settings there. So if we take a look, the sales account there is other income. Now, if we take this and we change it to posting class and we save it, ordinarily the system will look at the item It'll look at its posting class and it should use the GL entries from the posting class. So it should use this 40,000. Okay. But again, we're creating an order type where it says use the inventory IDs GL account. So let's save this. And for the purposes of time, I'm going to use the quick process option. We have another video on how this works. So we'll confirm the shipment. We'll prepare the invoice and release the invoice. Okay, so let's open up this invoice. And you'll see if we scroll over to the right, it's using the other income. That was located inside the inventory IDs, GL preferences. Now, just for confirmation, we'll go to financial details and we'll look at our batch. And again, we can see that it picked other income. Okay, so now let's create another order. And this one will be IP. So this one, the order type is set to pull from the posting class. So we'll pick a customer. We'll pick the same item. And again, we'll do a quick process where we confirm the shipment, prepare the invoice, and release the invoice. The release is not really critical here because when we see the invoice, we look at the line item, we'll see the account. Okay, so we'll go into this. And again, if we scroll over to the right, now we see 40,000 as the sales revenue. So just 
to recap on this, go back and look at the item itself. So the GL account for the inventory ID, the GL account for the inventory ID is set for other income. But under the posting class that's defined with this item, Acumatica is using this sales account, 40,000. So because our order type was set to pull the sales account from the posting class, it did that right here. Okay. So now one other example I want to do. So let's create another order. But in this case, let's go back to our order type where we pull from the inventory ID. And let's quick process this. I want to make another note here for you so that you see one other detail that's really important. So when we open this up, this is pulling like before to other income because our order type is this IO and our order type is set up to take a look at it again. Order type is set up for IO to pull from the inventory ID. Now, having said that, if we look at this item, inventory ID in the posting class, this item ordinarily would look at the posting class and look and say, oh, the sales account is supposed to pull from the posting class. But the order type overrides that. We told the order type to pull from the inventory GL account, and it did that. It ignored this posting class and used the GL account right in the inventory ID. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. At the end of the video, there's a contact slide. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. Thank you.